I get a lot of questions about what to do um, if people don't agree with what you're saying, if you decide to go vegan or vegetarian. Um, and you know what? It's not easy to go vegan and vegetarian. I'm just telling you guys that up front. Um, you're going to have people harassing you, people telling you you're wrong. You're going to have um, people just pretty much um, telling you that everything about your life is stupid. And for the most part, I, I tell people just to ignore these people. Um, all you can do is give them factual information, um, share the reasons why you're vegan, and it's really up to them to make that choice for themselves. Um, and that is hard for a lot of vegans, um, and I, it's hard for me too, but um, I look at it this way. If you force people to believe something, they're really just going to deflect the real problems onto you. They're going to identify you as being their problem, not the overall issues that you're talking about. If you confront them in a really negative, um, aggressive way, if you know what I mean. I understand why people do this, um, especially new vegans and vegetarians. Um, you just want to go out and save every single animal that's in pain. You you lose sleep every night thinking about animals. You want to do everything you can to save them and help them. And the reality is you can't save them all. And I, this is a really hard thing that a lot of vegans and vegetarians have to come to terms with. I do think everybody needs to be aware of what's going on. Um, I think people need to be presented that information in a factual, non-sensationalized manner though. Um, the way the documentary Earthlings approaches the subject. They just lay it all out there, bare facts. That's what they do in that movie. They don't sensationalize anything. They don't need to get they don't need to get a bunch of celebrities to come pose nude for for their campaign. I mean, all they had to do was show people the facts of what's going on. And that's what I encourage all of you to do if you're passionate about animal activism and you want to take a stand. Um, seriously, just present the facts in a calm and rational way. Um, visual imagery does help people start a vegetarian and vegan diet, but um, I caution against, you know, turning the pita right away because, you know, again, they have their motives. They, their idea of saving animals is very different than a lot of vegan and vegetarians' ideas of saving animals with their policies regarding um, putting down animals that they rescue from animal shelters. I mean, they do lots of that kind of stuff and a lot of the money they use for advertising could go to save animals. But that's another subject, you guys. I've already talked about that before, but a lot of people don't want to make the connection um, that all animals have a right to peaceful and healthy lives. Um, they don't want to think of the fact that pigs and cows are intelligent, sentient beings that have feelings that um, that aren't just put here to to feed us. Um, and that's a sad fact. A lot of people will refuse to make that connection, but it's really, it's not anything that you did wrong. It is something they have to deal with themselves, something that they have to come to their own decision on. I just try to do my best every day to raise awareness um, through blogging, through vlogging, through um, talking to my friends and family, um, to writing about it. You do what you can, the best that you can to help. Um, pick one area that you're really, really passionate about in this life, whether it be writing, whether it be, um, you know, acting, singing, dancing. Um, if you're a good, really good mathematician, if you're good at any certain area, find a way to make that um, part of your activism. So I don't think you need to give up on people um, if they don't listen to you the first time. It doesn't help to yell at them. It doesn't help to make them take out their anger on you. Um, really, really, the, ultimately, um, we have free choice in this country, and it goes both ways. They have the right to do what they want as well, but um, they don't have the right to live in ignorance about it. Um, people don't have the right to just do whatever they want without knowing the consequences of what they're doing. So that is the goal of um, what I do. I try to raise awareness about it. I try to make people 
think about it, but I'm not here to attack people. I'm not here to to blame people. I'm not here to pass judgment on people. It would just go against anything positive that I've done. You know what I mean? It'll make me look bad. It'll reflect poorly on, on me and what I'm saying if I act out or if I get angry or um, if I lose my temper in the subject. So, and I have a temper, guys. Don't get me wrong. I, I, have, I have to work really hard to control my temper, especially with people that aren't being reasonable and don't want to listen and just don't give a crap about animals. And it, it, it really makes me upset. What I do is I just walk away at that point. Um, I don't lose my temper. Um, I, I just lay out the facts as well as I can and um, yelling at them is not going to do any good for the cause. That person's already made up their mind not to listen to you. So until they are really ready to listen to you and it, until they're ready to actually be aware of what's going on, um, you're not going to be able to, to get them to be interested in veganism and vegetarianism. Like That's just not going to happen. It, it's really super tough, especially if you are younger, if you are a teenager and you're still living at home and your parents don't agree with your lifestyle choice. Um, ultimately though, it really is your choice what you put in your body. Um, ultimately, they they will comply with your demands as long as you're being reasonable. Some tips I have um, to maybe make this go a little bit more smoothly for you if your parents just totally aren't on board for, for you going vegan or vegetarian. Um, Maybe just ask if they could um, they could cook their meat separately um, with whatever they're making. Like if they're making, um, let's say like tacos or um, spaghetti or something, they could cook their meat separately and you could have like a marinara sauce. You could do beans instead of um, ground beef or something. And you, you might have to actually make your own meals. You might actually have to learn how to cook. But you know, that's, that's what... Um, that's why we have vegan and vegetarian forums um, like vegweb.com. They have a bunch of really affordable recipes. Um, maybe just ask your parents for a small grocery budget and just say, I will be, I will eat vegan really cheaply. I will show that it's really affordable and it won't be inconveniencing you. Um, but yelling at your parents and telling them to convert unless they are actually really interested and ready to learn, they're probably not going to be very on board for you eating vegan or vegetarian as long as you're in their house. I know you want to go out there and, you know, convert your whole family and make them believe what you believe. It doesn't happen like that, you guys. Um, honestly, um, I'm the only vegan in my family. Um, most of my family is um, not even vegetarian. My husband is vegetarian. He's not full vegan. Um, still working on him, um, but he, he'll, he eats vegan at home. Um, the really the only time he eats cheese is when he's out on his own. Um, I just tell him I refuse to buy anything with animal byproducts. What he does with his time, with his you know whatever, that's up to him. But I'm not gonna go out and buy him honey granola bars. Like he, we just had that fight tonight. Like he wanted me to go buy him some granola bars with honey in them, and I, I explained. I said I can't do that. It goes against my beliefs and. You have to respect that. You, you want me to respect your beliefs, so you have to respect mine as well. So um, I am lucky, at least he's a vegetarian, that does make it a little bit easier on me, but it's still not perfect, you know? Like, he wants to go out and have pizza and have cheese, and like, it just makes me kind of sick to think about it. Um, now that I know more about the dairy industry, now that I know about all the cruelty involved in any, any area of um, farming or factory farming, and, and um, what I honestly try to do is if I go to a family event, I will make my own main course or my own meal to, to bring with. It really does help to make your own food and take it with you, especially if you're not sure if they'll have a, a vegan option for you. Um, if you're going out to eat, maybe call ahead and see if they have any vegan options for you. You don't have to completely rock the boat all of the time. Like You have to learn to pick your battles or else you're going to go through life extremely tired and frustrated and your energy will not be going towards the positive goals that you want to achieve. That's been tough for me. Like I've had to come to this, I've had to come to these conclusions for myself, for my mental well-being. Um, you know what I mean? Like I used to like get to me way too much and it was just sucking out all my energy and I realized I wasn't being the person that I knew I could be. I wasn't being the role model that I knew I could be because 
I was so down and depressed about it. So really I'm just taking that energy and putting it in a positive place. Um, I'm showing that um, vegan cooking is fun through all my blogs, through my recipes, through my cooking show. Um, I am losing weight. It's really nice. Um, I have more energy. And so I just hope to show that through my life. I hope to show that through my everyday activities and um, by being a positive person and showing how how rewarding this lifestyle is and how I don't feel guilty about, you know, when I go to sleep. I don't. Everybody eats way too much processed crap. Just cut the crap out. Cut out all the unknowns. You know, eat produce, eat grains, eat nuts, eat fruit, eat, eat whole foods. And then you know what you're putting in your recipe. You can control what you put in your recipe. You can control what you put in your body. And that feels really good. It feels good to put the control back in your hands, to put your health back in your hands. And if more people start living this way, it'll become easier. You know what I mean? It'll be a chain reaction. Like, I, I am so inspired to keep making videos, to keep blogging, to keep being active because um, of all the letters I get from you guys, of all the comments, of all the positive things that have come from this channel, they com it completely outweighs any negatives that come from this channel because I've just, just from having this channel, um, at least... At least 10 people or more have said they are going vegetarian or vegan just from from this channel, from the information. And to me that speaks volumes. It speaks volumes. So I just had to do this video because I do get a lot of people asking me how to deal with um, family issues, how to deal with co co-workers, how to deal with um, people in their lives that don't agree with them. Um, and a lot of people don't agree with me on this channel in particular. I mean, I've had a lot of people sub to me and unsubscribe from me, and they might unsubscribe from me. They might unsubscribe from me because of this video, but I'm not going to stop being who I am. I'm not going to stop being a vegan just because of the opinion of a few people. I do think everybody needs to be informed. I do think everybody needs to know what's going on um, because our government doesn't want us to know. They don't want to educate us were taught incorrectly about health and nutrition in high school, in middle school, um, from a young age, we're taught incorrectly about nutrition, you guys, and that's why I think that it's important that, you know, we raise these issues, we don't do it in a negative, um, a negative way, we show that, through, we show by example why this diet is the best way to live. Let's get involved in the vegan community. Um, You'll meet a lot of really nice people. You'll make a lot of friends. Um, I recommend um, checking out um, the veggie boards, um, veggieboards.com. It is um, an international forum for vegans and vegetarians to get together and discuss um, issues related to veganism and vegetarianism. Um, there's people that have been vegans and vegetarians far longer than me that might be able to help you or give you advice. Um, totally check that out. Um, Check out uh, VeggieWeb.com for free recipes, and as always, you can ask me questions. I'll do my best to answer you in a timely fashion because um, I'm, I really am passionate about what I'm doing, and I hope it shows.